Hey guys and welcome back to a new Roblox video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hand to GUI for any cafe game, restaurant game, anything you need to hand an item to someone. So let's get right into this. So, the first steps of what you need to do is you need to create a GUI with two text boxes named different things and then a text button. Customize it all you want, but this is my GUI right here. Then the next thing that you need to do under the text button is you need to add a local script. And in that local script, you're going to say script.parent.mouse button one click colon connect function and there's going to be no parameter then the next thing we're going to specify the player so local player equals game dot players dot local player after that what we're going to do is we're going to say if um no we're going to say local text uh player text equals script uh, parent dot text box uh so we're gonna do the text box oh i spelled that wrong text box oh sorry there's another parent here so script dot parent dot parent dot text box uh which is our player uh if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the player name. And then text box 2 is the item name. So let me go back to, and back into the script. And the player text equals uh, script.parent.parent.textbox. And then we're going to say dot text. Then we're going to say local item text or item name equals script.parent dot uh, script.parent.parent.textbox2 or whatever you have yours named .text. And now what we're gonna say if player text uh, player text no if sorry sorry if game.players colon find first child um, and then we're going to say player text then we are going to um we're going to work on that later but if it's n if we can't find a player with that exact name we're going to um say script dot parent dot text equals no player found with the specified name and that's going to just alert the person who's giving the item that they typed it in wrong or something like that. So if it does find the, um, the player text, then we're going to make another if statement um, under the else statement. Um, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to just copy that and then paste that there so under and then if i uh, we're going to have to change this around if game dot uh dot mm, so if you want it to be limited to mo um some people what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to uh do if game dot players colon find first child and then we're going to do me but you can always do the local player but i just want this gy to only work for me um dot backpack dot uh colon find first child uh child and then item name then if we find it we're going to do um we're going to copy this and then we're going to say colon clone and then we're going to say dot parent equals um 
player text uh no sorry game dot players colon find first child player text dot backpack so that should work right now the only thing other that we might have to do is we actually have to place that probably like right here and that should work and right and then else we're going to add an else statement here too and then we're going to just copy this but change it up a little so as script.parent.txt equals no item with that no item was found with that name and that should work let's test it out but i want to make i want to code something in also to make this gui only limited to me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in the server storage actually i'm going to put it in the replicated storage and in the server script service actually i'm going to just name this hand to gui and in the server script service i'm going to add a script that's going to make this only limited to you can do it for a certain group level or uh, you can do it for only one person i'm going to do it for only one person but i'll show you how to do it for a group rank too so uh, my other script right here um okay i'm gonna name this clone hand two so that should work right there and then we're going to add game dot players dot player added colon connect function and then we're going to use the player parameter so we're going to get the player and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually since if you guys heard of this roblox hack going around where people can change their usernames to anything they want to what we can do to prevent that is we can get their user id instead so i'm gonna get my user id right now and i'm gonna do that by i think i can show you guys i'm gonna do that by going to my chrome and then i'll go to my profile i think you guys can uh it's still loading okay so you guys can see that right now so and this is my profile right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. Can you guys see that? Um, yes. I'm going to copy this, um, this number right over here. I'm going to copy it. That number that I'm highlighting. You don't see it. But it's on the top bar that says web.roblox.com. And maybe you see it. I don't know. But it's a 1, 2, 3, Four, five. It it could be different digit of number uh, digits of numbers, but you want to copy that, or um, I'll show you how to do it with ranks in a second too. And then I'm gonna go back to Roblox Studio, and I'm gonna say if player dot user ID equals, and then in quotations I'm gonna paste that user ID. And I'm sorry, I you put two equals in an if statement. And then I'm going to say then, uh, we're going to say game.replicatedStorage.hand2gui, colon clone, dot parent, equals player dot backpack. And then the way you would do this for group ranks is you would specify the group rank. So you would say local group, um, sorry, local group you would specify the group id equals one to the it, um but just copy your group id and then you're going to say i uh, the same thing but you're going to say if player calling get rank from group and i think this is how you do it um i'm gonna add an end statement right here to see i i think i'm doing this correct get rank from group and then you put the group id so i'm gonna put group here and that's the group id is equal to or is uh greater than or equal to 
a specified rank, they all go by number ordering, then we're going to clone the GUI. So if uh, it's greater than or equal to the third rank of the group in order, then we can clone the GUI and copy that line above. But right now I'm gonna just do it for me. So hopefully this works, let's, te let's test it out. I'm gonna publish to Roblox so everything saves. And then what I'm gonna do is load in the game. And it may take a second. But you see I have my steak and mashed potatoes. Ah, the GUI did not clone. Um, let me see what the problem is here. And uh, I said player.backpack. I meant player.player GUI. I am so sorry. Um, here we go. Let's go in this. And it should clone. Ah, it didn't clone again. Okay, let's see what the problem is. So, we... We don't have it in the player GUI. So the problem may be I'm getting the player.user ID incorrect. So what I, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add wait three seconds and maybe that will help. No. Okay, so let me search on how to get the user ID correctly and we'll check this out. Okay, so now it works. It was just a problem with the user ID, so it should still work for the group ones, but now I just changed it to my name, and I'm gonna push play now, and it definitely works. I just tried it out. So, here we go. We have the GUI, and let's see uh, if it works now. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to say player name here. I'm gonna put my name, cyberwiz underscore yt. And then item name here. The name is steak and mashed potatoes. Uh, potato. Uh, so. Okay. Perfect. That looks good. And I got a clone of my steak and mashed potatoes. Just like I was supposed to. And I can do it multiple times. And it works just as it was supposed to. Now I'm going to enter a random name here. And I'm going to hand to no player found with the spe uh, specified name. And then I'm going to put my correct name here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the item name. Uh, that. So, no item was found with that name. So everything works like it should. Um, now the only thing is, um, for the GUI and the script here... You can put your items on um, you can get your items from the server storage or the replicated storage which is a much better option uh, than the player.backpack so change this to the location that you want to get your food from from me it's my own backpack and i want to clone it from my own backpack but it can be the replicated storage or anything and then what i'm going to do here is actually i'm going to wait three seconds and then i'm going to say script.parent.txt equals hand to so it resets hand to and then i'm going i think it was in all caps before so i'm gonna say hand to and i'm gonna copy this for this and i'm gonna put it right there also and yeah it's a pretty clean gui and what i'm gonna actually do right now is i'm going to change the name of this to mashed and then i'm going to uh take the script from here i'm gonna delete it and then I'm gonna go to this, uh, sorry, this script. And then I'm gonna say, instead of my backpack, I'm gonna say game.replicated storage. So game.replicated storage. And this should be good now. And it it's a lot better because it's getting it from the replicated storage instead of your own backpack. So let's type in here uh, my own name. And then we'll type in mashed because we changed the name. No item was found. Maybe it was all caps. No item was found with that specific name. It's mashed. Okay. Let's try that. Ah. Okay. So we got ourselves an error. So the item name, game.replicated storage. Pull in find first child item name colon clone dot parent okay ah uh, okay so we're going to find the item name 
Okay, so what I'm gonna try now is just copying this because it should work. And I'm gonna put my name. And then I'm gonna paste that in. Huh, that's weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'll fix this and I'll get right back to you. Okay, for some reason, something with the server and the client. Oh, mashed is not a member. Oh, it says replicated storage. Okay, so what we have to do here is game.server script service. Um, so there we go. And now it should work. I'm using the player's backpack. Something with the server and the client is not letting me fetch the stuff from the um the replicated storage and the lighting and the server storage i tried it with that so for now uh, you guys can experiment but i'm just using my own backpack to do it and it should work cyberwiz yt and then mashed and two and i got it again and i can keep getting it and i can actually give it to someone else and the what if i say steak and two Oh, because that there's no name also there. So, we can actually add something in for that. Um, actually, this is gonna be the last thing right here. I actually did not spell that correctly. But, uh, this is gonna be the last thing right here. And it, if, and here we go. So it says, if that, okay, no player found with that name. I'm gonna add another if statement right here. I'm gonna say, if script.parent.text equals none or nil then um sorry script dot parent dot parent dot text box two dot uh text equals nil then um we're going to say script dot parent dot text equals um hmm. Uh, we're going to say script.parent.text equals wait so i think these are both going to trigger at the same time so if it, let's just keep going with this equals no name specified and then we're going to go we're going to copy this whole thing and we're going to do it with the other text so text box dot text Okay, so this should work now. Let's test it out. Let's put something here. Let's do that. No player found with the specified name. Um, okay, I don't know why that's working that way. Nope. No player found with the specified name. So it, you can't do multiple, multiple events to trigger at the same time. It's like, I'm um, really confusing, but the GUI does work and mashed and everything does work you can hand yourself and you can hand other people as many mashed potatoes as they want and it still fills up their inventory see you guys in the next one have a great day and peace